And then he gets to the part of the Bible where it talks about love your enemies. Well, that's a good thing to preach on, honey. I hope you listened good. Yeah, like it's something I haven't heard a thousand times before. Now, Kim, you know that God's word is, you know, it's true. But, but mom, think about it. Love your enemies. How is that really practical? It's not like I have any enemies. Are you sure? Yeah. I don't hate anyone. I mean, I thank God that I don't live in places like Afghanistan or Iran or Uganda, places where there are real enemies that you see face to face. So you're saying you love everyone? Obviously not, Mom. I mean, okay, fine. There are definitely some people that I'm never going to get along with, like people at work. You know, the ones that come up to me and try to tell me how to do my job, standing over me and barking orders. I am positive that they have jobs of their own to do. So why don't they leave me alone to do mine? That sounds more realistic. Yeah, or what about the boys in my life that try to pass themselves off as men? Like, what about Kevin? We met last week at Starbucks. He seemed nice. They gave him my number. So we meet again at Starbucks on a date. And that's when he decides to tell me that his license is suspended. We're eating Dutch. And oh yeah, could I take him to see his sick grandmother so we can borrow some money? You see, not everyone's your best friend. Yeah, but that hardly makes them my enemy. Kim, I've always oh. told you that... Oh. What? Hold on a second. I have another call coming in. Hold on, Mom. Hello? Hello? Hi. Can I speak with Kim, please? This is me, who's speaking? It's Gigi Reynolds, you know, second from the right on the praise and worship team. I'm sorry, yes, Gigi Reynolds. I know who you are. Sometimes sitting behind that piano the whole time, I just, I forget names and faces. Oh, it's okay. I hope you don't mind me calling at you a home like this. It's just that after what Pastor Thomas said in his sermon today, I knew I had to talk to you. You did? Well, yes. He was talking about loving your enemy. And at first I thought, I really don't have one of those. Then I saw you over there at the piano, and I realized that wasn't true. Excuse me? You are my enemy, Kim. You have been ever since you were asked to be the worship accompanist. Do you know who played the piano before you came to our church? Yes. I don't remember his name, but he was not very that good. That was my son. Oh. And I was standing right there when the pastor told you how awful he sounded, how he was leading minds away from the Lord with his playing. Well, sometimes I exaggerate. Please, let me finish. Ever since that bi day, Billy has tried so hard. He gets up early on Saturdays to practice, and yet every time he's asked if he can play, even for rehearsal, you have a reason why he can't. Oh, well, I didn't realize that... Maybe you didn't, but the point is, I truly hated you for what you were doing to him. Today I realize it's getting to the point where I can hardly stand to sing anymore. I don't want to be anywhere near you. I... Oh, can you hold on a minute? Sure. Thanks. Mom, are you still there? Well, you caught me just before I was going to hang up. Sorry, can I call you again later? I have to go. Why? Who was it on the other line? Uh, are you okay? Fine, I, I just have to go, that's all. Well, if it's Kevin, you tell him hello for me, okay? Okay, Mom. Bye. Bye. Gigi, listen, I'm so sorry. No, no, no. I... I didn't call to make you apologize to me. I want to apologize to you. I said some things to the other ladies about you that weren't very pleasant, not to mention all the things I thought in my heart. Uh, I, I just, I don't know what to say. I've never had anybody admit something like this to me before. Well, Calling you wasn't easy, but you are the enemy that I'm trying to love. So I thought I'd offer my apology, apologies and say that I forgive you. I do. Oh, uh, 
Thanks. And I'm going to include Billy sometime soon in our worship. Well, I was thinking maybe you'd like to come over for dinner sometime. Then you could get to know Billy a little, hear him play, maybe even give him some lessons if you're up for it. Okay. That's really nice of you to offer. Good. I will talk to you next week about it. And Kim, thanks for hearing me out. You're welcome. Thanks for um, letting me know. Have a good night. You too. Bye.